This is what over 100 mile per hour winds did to homes off of Seminole Drive. The tree came down on the roof. Thomas Hoover was in his house in the area when his family woke up in fear Friday morning. Definitely terrifying at one point, you know, to not know if you're actually going to be able to, to live the next day, you know, if you're going to make it through. A few trees landed on his home. He took his family into the hallway, a decision he says could have been life saving. Out of, out of a blink of an eye, it's like you got to make the right decision or you're going to die. His stepdaughter Haley says seeing what the tornado did shocked her. We have saw the tree in their bedroom and we have walked to the living room, water all on the floor. Right by the ceiling fan, there was some cracks that are now leaking water. Take a look at this map. It shows where those tornadoes came through their neighborhood right directly in that path. That's why people like Albert Bryan came from the panhandle to clear debris. He does storm cleanup work and says the destruction here will take a while to recover from. With the uh, roof damage, water damage, tree damage, it's going to be a new normal around here. Climbing on trees, climbing over trees. Hoover says he thinks it will take a long time to get back to normal too, but he says he's staying positive. I don't know what else to do now except just try and keep my head up and do the best that I can.